billboard showing what the Hudson Yards is going to be like in the future, once it's done. Isn't it amazing? Like you look at this, so futuristic. It's going to be one of the places to be in New York. And I just think it's such a phenomenal development. Well, thanks to Related, thanks to New York City and the various administrations that have made it possible. And you can just see from this uh, illustration what kind of properties are going to be here. This is near 31st and 8th Avenue. And this is like a, a longer view of where Hudson Yards is, right near the post office. And you can see the dramatic change that has taken place. All these buildings that are going up, and even more buildings are going up. It's actually a, a number of blocks away, but it appears so close because the buildings are so big. And it's just amazing the transformation that's going to take place on the west side in Midtown of New York. This is at 33rd Street and 8th Avenue, and you can see some more construction in the distance of the Hudson Yards. And this almost reminds me of the 1980s in New York where you see cranes everywhere. And if you go to the Hudson Yards, that's all the way on the west side, you'll see uh, quite a few cranes and just nonstop construction. They're expecting construction for quite a few more years. And you can see how extensive it is and where it is right here on the west side right near the main post office, not too far away, just a few blocks away. It's incredible the amount of buildings that are going to be there. This is 9th Avenue and 33rd Street. You can see how much the construction is progressing here. Um, this is kind of like the area of Hudson Yards. And you can see this is going to be a large skyscraper, just like over here. And it's incredible. They proposed this idea of making this whole area into more of a business district. And the plan is finally coming to fruition. And isn't it amazing just seeing all these buildings going up? And this is very close to Penn Station. And that's just where we came from. And I'll just turn the camera around to show everyone where the Penn Station is, or where Penn Station is. That's Penn Station there. And what we're seeing here is the main post office. And uh, this is the post office that's been in many movies. And uh, it's really a great post office, and they want to turn this into more of the Penn Station and put something else where Penn Station is. But you can see how all these buildings are going to be really, really great once they're completed. So you're going to have a lot of people in the area, and that's kind of like the goal. And you can see in the distance another building in Hudson Yards going up, but it's just going to be phenomenal. So again, let's just take a quick look at all the buildings here. And these are nearing completion. Not quite done yet, but they will be done very shortly. We're here on 33rd Street between 9th and 10th Avenue, and this is more construction going on, and this is right next to the Hudson Yards project, or like right now, this whole area is becoming considered like Hudson Yards, and you can see more construction that's going on here. This big building that we see here is owned by Angelo Gordon and company. Now, about 10 years ago, they were thinking about selling it. Then they heard and saw how the Hudson Yards was going to be developed, and they realized that it would make more sense to reposition this building than to sell it. So what they did is they reclad the exterior in uh, this nice glass work here. Before, it was more like an a, a exterior that was from like 30 or 40 years ago. But they really did a great job, and this will help increase the value of the building for rental. And it is one of the uh, largest, in terms of square footage, buildings in the city. But for them, it made a lot of sense because once Hudson Yards becomes developed, uh, the value of the building is going to really increase by much, much more because it's going to be considered an area that is uh, very appropriate and easy for many corporate customers to be in. And you can see the size of the building, how much square footage there must be inside. It's really a beautiful building. A lot of tech companies are in here, a lot of cutting edge companies are in here. So they really are now enjoying this area around here because people are giving this area and various companies moving here are giving this area a very good reputation. You can see here all the other buildings going up too. And again, we'll take a look at Penn Station to give everyone a sense of the dimension. And that in the distance is Penn Station and the post office. And here again is the building between 33rd 
on 9th Avenue and 10th Avenue in Manhattan. You can see the beautiful exterior that is, uh, has been put on to this other building. So we're just walking a little bit more toward 10th Avenue, just so that everyone can kind of get a good idea of what's going on. And you can see here uh, construction going on where they're uh, building the foundation for some other buildings. But it's just beautiful, just seeing all this construction. And this is New York. Typically in New York, they're constantly building. Uh, space is at a premium. And so they're left with no choice but to build up vertically. And luckily, in New York, they have bedrock uh, very close to the surface. So it allows for the construction of these very tall buildings without uh, digging too deeply. So here we are at the edge of 10th Avenue and 33rd Street. Now, uh, Related Companies has the right and has sold some of the rights to the Hudson Yards. And you can see this immense building that's going up. It's just going to be phenomenal once it's done. And in an earlier video, we had seen the exterior of this other building that's uh, being clad in uh, new glass to make it more, uh, to make it fit in more with the other buildings that are going to be in the area. But this is like a phenomenal transformation of this area. This was basically the railroad tracks and the railroad yard for Amtrak and for various lines going into Penn Station. But now it's being put to a much better use. There was an extensive discussion about how this area and this space should be used. And ultimately, after an extensive bidding process, the related companies under Steve Ross uh, won the right to kind of help shape this area. And you can see here the beautiful buildings going up. Look at this incredible structure and how they're just putting it up. There's going to be so many people in this area in about 10 years. It's going to be a phenomenal transformation of this part of New York. And you can see one building that's almost done. I had seen it over a number of months uh, being put up, but it's just incredible that they're able to do this. Now, over here was a McDonald's, and the related companies really wanted it because they needed this whole block. They wanted the whole block, and they paid for the McDonald's land alone uh, about $150 million. And uh, they just wanted it because it was going to make so much sense for the ultimate construction of other projects. So you can see how this area is really just transforming itself. Like you can see here even, like down the street. But what a crowded area it's going to be very soon. But it's all part of business. We're here at 34th and 10th Avenue. This is just to provide a better perspective of the Hudson Yards construction. You can just see how much is really going on with this building. And it's really amazing seeing how sturdily the construction is and how dense the construction is here. Obviously, it's gonna be a tall building and they wanna build it in a very, very strong way. And you can see the density of the construction here. So uh, this is unusual. But I'm sure people in a higher salary grade than me have decided that this is what is very important for this type of construction. And you can see the amount of effort that's put into this. And obviously it's gonna be a very tall building, but a nice building. And it's, I can imagine it's gonna be something like the other building in the distance to kind of have two pillars anchoring like a center area that's there. You can see here, and this is, uh, as I said, 10th Avenue. And this is just to put it all, all into perspective so people can see where we are. And if you look down here, we're gonna be looking down 34th Street. It's very nice seeing this whole distance. And that New Yorker hotel is very close to Penn Station. It's just one block away from Penn Station. And again, I'm just mentioning that so that people can have perspective as to where the buildings are. And you can see all these buildings in the distance, all going up, and it's just phenomenal. And that, in the distance, is the Jacob Javits Center. And that is uh, one of the largest convention centers in New York, and, uh, well, the largest convention center in New York, one of the largest convention centers in the country. So uh, when they have all this area constructed, it's gonna make the Jacob Javits Center even more valuable.
as a place for many people to go to. This is another part of the Hudson Yards at 34th Street and around 11th Avenue. You can see here, more construction. It's amazing, everything is under construction. But that's why I keep repeating how it's gonna be a phenomenal area once all this is done. Now here you have the 34th Street Hudson Yards subway station, which is gonna make this like such an ideal location for companies to be. Uh, a direct access to the rest of the city. And that's perfect. This is exactly why companies are coming here and signing up. In addition to uh, some very big companies helping to run and develop this area, it gives a lot of firms the reassurance that it's gonna be done right and there's not gonna be any problems. And the political clout and the political willpower to get everything done is here. So you can see here all these beautiful buildings going up. It's just phenomenal. And um, there's also another part to this park here. Now there's another two mini blocks of this park, which right now it's very peaceful. But in time, when you're gonna have tens of thousands of people in these office buildings, it's gonna be filled. Right now when you take the number seven line, you'll see when the number seven line stops at its next stop in Times Square, it's really not crowded. That will not be the case in the future in about 10 years. With all these people taking the number seven line, it will have a number of people on the train when it gets to Times Square. And this is just so people get a better idea of what the construction is like. It's just phenomenal how much everything is going on. And this whole area is gonna be covered with buildings. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these were former railroad tracks. And the city had to decide what to do with the railroad tracks. And I think what they're doing now is putting it to the best use possible. You can see how there's gonna be covered completely with buildings and office towers. And uh, it's amazing how much effort was put into this, into the uh, just the development of covering the railroad tracks. You can see here, everything. Just a phenomenal effort on their part, on everyone's part. You can see here, everything here. And that's where we were. That was like 10th Avenue and uh, 33rd Street with the building, the shiny building in the distance. And you can see here, everything, all the other buildings going under development. So I think the luckiest buildings are gonna be the ones who can maintain their view of the Hudson and uh, see the distance. So uh, some of the buildings going up now are gonna block the views of some of the other buildings, but that's okay. Like the developers realize that, but that's all part of the process. And there in the distance where you see the extra space is the beautiful Hudson River. So it's a beautiful summer day in July. It's just gonna be phenomenal. And it's just so enjoyable seeing the ongoing development of New York. One day, when New York is finally finished, it's gonna be one heck of a city.